everyone, so I know it's been a while, but um, we've just moved and everything, so it's been a bit crazy. Um, but today I went out and did a little bit of shopping, um, and so I thought I'd share with you what I've got. Um, also, excuse like the lack of makeup, I've just not really been feeling it today, so I just thought I wouldn't redo it. Um, so the first place I went was Primark, and I haven't been to Primark in so long, so I went on a little bit of a mad one. Um, but I got some bits for work and some bits for the summer. So, um, I wanted to get more. I actually picked up a bikini because I really liked it, but it was £10, so I thought I'd wait till it's close to the time. Um, but this is the first thing I got. I'm going to do like a little bit of a try-on as well, because otherwise you can't really tell what things look like. Like this, um, and it's just like a long, it's like a midi-length skirt, and it's grey and white stripes, and it's all ribbed. I love ribbed dresses, and I love stripes, so I thought that would be perfect. And it was, hang on a second... Six pounds. Six pounds? It's a bargain. And then the next one I got, I thought it'd be quite nice for work. And it's like this dusky pink. Is that right? Is that a turn? What colour is this? Just a plain um, sort of mid-length skirt again. It was a fiver, which is a bargain. And it's got nice sleeves and stuff. I just thought it'd be really simple and easy to throw on for work. Um, and then the next thing I got was this dress. And it was nine pounds, which, you know, a bit pricey. Um, but I really like this. I don't know what this pattern is, I don't know what you call this pattern, but I like it, whatever it is, and it's just that really soft, feeling material that like, I don't know, it feels like I'm wearing my pyjamas to work, but it's great, and it's just little, like, hemmed at the bottom with black, and then I've got this, again, stripy, grey and white, um, and ribbed, actually, but it's a t-shirt, and it's got this, the little tie bit at the front, which I love, these tops are great when you've got boobs, so... <laughs> I like them. Um, finally a trend that I can actually wear. And then I got this, um, which is probably the, my favourite thing I got, and probably one of the more expensive ones. And it's a dress um, in like navy and white, and I love navy and white stripes, they just, they get me every time. And it's belted, which is really nice, because it, it doesn't just look like a bin bag on you. And then it's got, um, I think it has got full length sleeves, but they're kind of done up a bit, which is also good for when it's a bit warmer but I just again thought this would be great for work and actually with tights or without tights like in the summertime so that's good. Okay, yeah. This next t uh, dress was probably the biggest bargain ever and I like, I don't know if you can see a theme here, I like stripes and this is just like black with that kind of salmon-y colour and a creamy colour and I just think it's really nice, um, it, it comes in at the waist which is great and it's longish, or well, three quarter length sleeves, which I really like as well, because I wear a blazer to work quite a lot, and I hate wearing a blazer unless I've got like an actual t-shirt on. If you've got just like a, a shirt with no sleeves, it's horrible, because they make you sweat. So <laughs> I go for these kinds of things. And then this, this, I think, is a nice dress for work, or like you could dress it up to go out somewhere, so that's good. And then I got this shirt, because I just thought it's a classic. Um, just It's just a plain white long um, shirt which will look good with my kind of more of like leggingy kind of trousers. Um, the only thing is it's very see-through so I should have really got a white top to go underneath it but I'm sure I've got one. Um, and I just thought it's really nice. Um, so then I got um, one, no a few more bits of clothing but um, just another thing for work. I was going to get just another black cardigan but I do have one, I just don't like it that much. And I have a black blazer so I thought I'd get this kind of, and this was £4.50, like that charcoal kind of grey colour because it's not far off black, it's not like too light of a grey but it's really nice feeling um, and yeah I just thought this would be good again for work because it's kind of a smarter cardigan. I wanted to get one of those like cotton blazers but they didn't have any that I could see so and then I just got one pair of trousers. Now I do have work trousers, I just don't, I feel like I need a few more and I do wear a lot of tights as well but I just wanted to get another pair that feel like almost like school trousers and they're a slim fit um, and they were only five pounds. So I just thought, even if I don't love them, they're good for like just in case I need a pair, like the others are in the wash or something. And then I got some like underwear-y bits, but I really wanted to show a few bits of them because some of the stuff in there is really sweet. This I'm a little bit concerned about because they don't have bra sizes; they just have small, medium, and large. And I don't like, I'm, I don't have, I have like a bit of boobage, but I'm not that chubby so normally I'd go for a small in underwear and things but I went for a medium um because the small was not going to cover my boob and I don't know if this particularly well but I thought I'd try it um and at least I'll still be able to fit into the underwear and it was five pounds but I think it's really cute 
it's like mint green with a bit of sparklage um, and it's a razorback so this will be good in the summertime with just like basic um, plain tops that have a low cut back I think it would be really cute and then the last like actual clothing item I got was this and it is just some 40 is it denier I don't know how you say that denier denier um, appearance tights but they're weather sense of finish opaque tights so they keep you cool when it's cool I mean warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm apparently and they're only three pounds um, there's three pairs in here and then I got this there was a few other bits I quite liked in the like beauty section for organization but I just wasn't I'm not that fussed yet and I wanted to get a cute toothbrush holder but I didn't quite have one I loved and that was really loud um, so I went just for one item like for storage and stuff I wanted to look more in the home section but the one I went to today doesn't have a great home section so I need to go back to another one or to a Wilco's because Wilco's home stuff is really good you just get all this crap off there we go um, so I just got this I've got some drawers out on where my makeup is in the bathroom um, and, and they're black so I went with another but the black black theme um, this is a little bit shorter than both the drawers so I could probably put like a little square pot to keep makeup brushes in so that would be good and then I got two bits of jewellery I don't tend to buy jewellery that much anymore and I always get really annoyed when I want to dress up and I think I haven't got anything um, and I'm obsessed with wearing like the, I'm obsessed with the whole like choker idea I just haven't actually invested in it yet so today I've got two packets um, so they were both this was two, two pounds this one was three pounds but we've got this black one which is really cute they're all kind of lacy and then one's got this cute little like tie bit which is really nice and it's very 90s but I love that it's back in and they're way nicer than the jokes we had in the 90s um, and this is like on the white and gold kind of theme which I really like as well I have gold and silver rings or actually I think one's white gold and one's rose is it yeah white gold and gold so um, I can get away wearing gold or silver which is quite good and I really like this gold and white colouring for the summertime so it's like daytime and nighttime chokers. <laughs> so on to makeup and I did get a few sort of makeup y beauty related things in Primark. I was gonna get a bit more but I was in a rush and there was a lot of people so I just thought I'll go back another day. Whew, that was hard. And this was two pound fifty and it's called um face cleaner and brush massager. So I just thought this would be good. It says perfect for cleansing and massaging skin. I don't know which side is the massage and which side is the cleanser. Okay I need to figure that out I think this is the cleaner part and then this is the massager but it's got like a rubbery side and a brush kind of side with little bumps on it so I'm intrigued to use this with something else I bought actually and then the next thing I just wanted to get one to try it out I didn't get a very big one but that's fine so it's one of these brushes that I've been seeing everybody use and it's like a brush that looks like something you clean a pet with um and it's I don't know which one this is the PS Pro blending brush so I just feel like this would be good fun with my um, foundation to give it a try I use the beauty blender at the minute but I like the idea of these they feel nice I shouldn't dirty it up though so yeah it's not a huge one but I could always use it for my concealer actually and then before I decided to go to the super drug and spend a lot of money I um, thought I would get just makeup from Primark and I wanted to I'm always intrigued to try something from Primark and this was Four pounds, and it's the strobing kit with highlighting powder palette. And it also comes with a free strobing brush, which I don't know how good this brush would be, but this is what it looks like. Um, I think they have names. So you've got luminous light, radiant light, and glowing light. And I feel like this is trying to be a dupe of something, but I don't know what. I think it's pretty good. They look like they've got some nice high shine. They're quite powdery, but they do come off quite well. So after being on like a makeup ban and not being able to buy anything in Thailand really and not being able to sorry you can see my bras there you can call that. Um, and not being able to like buy when we got back straight away like this is the first month where we've had a little bit of money and so I thought I'm going to treat myself um, and I treated myself to the extreme a little bit so not sure how I feel about that tomorrow when I check my bank but oh well um, so actually these are from Primark as well I just got one pound massive pack of hair bands because you can never have too many of these um, so where to start? I'm going to go between brands because I haven't got it in brand order. But um, I know this one I got on its own. And I've been struggling a little bit with um, having kind of having um, oily skin and struggling in the day. With, and I don't know if it's the foundation I've been using, products I've been using on my face. I don't know, but my skin's just been a bit oily and I keep getting sort of 
so annoying. Little spots and I just, yeah. And so I thought I'd go back to an old friend of mine and that's the Revlon, this was the first really good foundation I ever used and I bloody love it still. It's the Revlon Colour Stay. We all know what it is, it's both a combination oily which I think is even better. So the first things I'll show you are from Collection and I'm sure you know what these are. Um, they're the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. Best concealers ever, well, for drugstore anyway. So good, and they're one of the cheapest. So I got um, number one and number two, so it's fair and cool medium, just because this one definitely works under my eyes. This one's good, especially if I fake tanned a little bit. So I am very pale usually, so yeah. Um, and then I got this Collection Illuminating Touch Brightening Concealer, and it's like one of those twisty ones. And I just wondered if it was, yeah, it's like a highlighting thing for like under the eyes and that. And I was wondering if it was like the YSL one they were trying to go for that kind of vibe. So I thought, I trust their concealers. I'm going to buy this one. Um, the next thing I got was from um, Collection as well. And it's, again, what I was saying about having oily skin. This is uh, Prime and Ready, powered by Witch, which is like the Witch Hazel stuff mattifying pore minimizer. Um, so I really wanted to get a primer and I just thought, why not try this? It's quite cheap, it's from Collection, which I really like. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try and see whether that helps with my oily skin problem. I've got two palettes from Revolution. I wanted to get more, but I'd already got a good amount of things by this point. So um, I just went for two that I thought I'd really enjoy. And again, with the whole strobing thing, I did get the strobe lighting palette and I really like this packaging. Um, although your hands make it really grubby and this again I feel like it's trying to be a dupe of something right I'm a bit out of this out of the loop with palettes and things they don't have any names but I reckon these will be nice okay I don't know I don't even know how I feel about these I'm gonna give them a proper try um, for the when I do all the trial and stuff so uh, you can see then two years later I managed to get into this palette and it's the Revolution Beyond Flawless Ultra Eyeshadows it's a 32 eyeshadow palette there was a couple, there was one that I really wanted to get that was like a rose gold kind of palette but I just thought this comes with so many more and I like all the colours and I can always go and get that one another day but they're so good, like well priced I think this was £8 and it's 32 eyeshadows and Revolution have nice eyeshadows um, the only thing I don't like about these sorts of things is like this for example it has this little like sheet and that's what's got all the names on it which is really annoying because I always lose them but yeah this is a really nice palette it's a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers it's kind of got it got the plummy tones that I like it's a bit cooler than what I may go for some sometimes but I really quite like it it's nice and neutral browns and a bit of black in there as well if you're going out golds yeah, I like this. And then I went to MUA and kind of, like, MUA and Revlon are very similar. Obviously, they all come under the same website now and that. But I love their stuff. It's so well-priced and generally it's good quality. I'm not a massive fan of their foundations and things. One of the foundations I've been using at the minute, I don't like it that much. But it might be because my skin's really oily. I'm not sure. And then, so I got this, anyway, for MUA. It's another palette and it's another highlighting kit. I got a lot of highlighting things and it's um, Radiant Illumination. I just wanted to find one that I really enjoy, so I'm going on a bit of a rampage. Ooh. So it's got six smaller eye eyeshadows, like highlighting colours. Um, they're very pigmented. I'm very excited about this because it's like there's all different kind of colours. Um, for different skin tones and things and ee, I can't wait to try that. I love a good highlighter as you'll see because the next thing I got was also a, a highlighter but it's like a shimmer highlighter like a all out there and I had one of these before and I loved it and I don't know where it's gone so I bought another one. I'm going to think of a better setup as well by the way this is a bit like ugly but I just kind of sat down straight away that's why I look like this to film and it's this undress your skin um, little single. I like to have palettes and singles because sometimes you don't want to take a whole palette somewhere but it's this beautiful colour. This one's in pink shimmer um, and I just preferred this to the like the white shimmer or the, they had a goldy one but I think pink shimmer will look really really pretty. Um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up um, and leave me a comment down below let me know how you are and I'll see you all soon. Bye!